Hello survivors, this is Kato Genesis, and welcome to the unique equipment guide of the Automatron expansion for Fallout 4. This guide will include the one-of-a-kind armor and weapons you can acquire in the Automatron DLC, and show their base stats and maximized stats if applicable, as well as where you can find them. Let's begin! The first three are all found in the same place, and that is the Fort Hagen Satellite Array. You should have no problem knowing where this is, and even if you do, the Automatron Quest Headhunting leads you here. This is a Rust Devil controlled bunker. Fight your way through until you encounter Ivy, a boss of this area clad in Tesla power armor and wielding the Tesla rifle. Starting at a base damage of 32, this fires singular or multiple arcs of electricity which will bounce from your initial point of impact, making the Tesla rifle ideal for clusters of enemies, especially robotic ones. There are many options for any playstyle when modding the Tesla rifle, and to have full access you will need the science perk at rank 2. The maximum base damage output for the Tesla rifle is 130 when outfitted with a charging shotgun barrel. If you invest in rifle related perks, this is a magnificent way to bring the thunder. Along with the Tesla rifle you find on Ivy, you can also pick up three unique power armor pieces, simply dubbed the Tesla T60, torso, right arm, and left arm. Included with each of these is an increase to the energy weapon damage output you have, alongside a shocking new look. Beyond this, it will upgrade the same as your standard T60 power armor. For maximum protection and basic miscellaneous mods, armor rank 4 and science rank 1 will be required. And if you choose to add the miscellaneous Tesla coils and Tesla bracers upgrades, energy damage will likely be increased for both of those as well. Nothing quite satisfies like fisticuffs with giant robots. And insert fisto joke here. Oh, I just did. After picking up all you can from Ivy in the Fort Hagen Satellite Array, in the very next room, there is a green steamer trunk, and next to it is a pre-war skeleton hugging a lunch tray. Inside the steamer trunk is the salvaged Assaultron head, the devastating Assaultron head laser that can now be wielded as a pistol. While its base damage is seen at 35 and cannot be modified at a workbench, this weapon can be charged by tapping the reload button up to 5 times, likely bringing up its damage by 5 times. A word of caution though, each time this weapon is fired, it will deal radiation damage to the user. Very much a risk reward type weapon, but a justified trade off to have a handheld death beam. Now for something that is not in the Fort Hagen Satellite Array, but the Mechanist's Lair. I am speaking of course of the Mechanist's Armor. As you can expect, this is after the quest Restoring Order resolves, and either choice can reward you with the armor. This is an armor and helmet outfit, the helmet giving 13 damage and energy resistance while also granting a plus one to charisma and intelligence, but the armor itself is where the real boost comes in. Wearing the Mechanist's body armor will increase the damage and energy resistance of the wearer by 72, raise endurance by one, and reduce incoming damage from robots by 15%. But that isn't the best part. If you have worked with the railroad and discovered a DIA cache unlocking the ballistic weave modification, the ballistic weave does work with the mechanist's armor. If you can forgive the bulbous looks, it'll keep you pretty well protected, and that would make three superhero costumes we can acquire. That survivors is all of the one-of-a-kind weapons and armor of Automatron. Have you made some use out of any of this equipment? Put it in the comments, I would love to hear about it. If by chance I missed something and you want to point it out, be sure there is only one instance of it because this is a list of uniques. If you found this guide useful, entertaining, or a little of both, do whatever it is you see fit to show that. And if you wish for more guides like this, you certainly know what to do. Thank you very much for watching, this is Kato Genesis, and may you wander the commonwealth like you own it.